Hi friends, today we will see how to fix uh, java.lang.runtime exception while you execute an Android program in uh, Eclipse. Uh, most of the time we get this error when you execute the first time Android program and uh, in the Android virtual device you can see an error unfortunately your program name has stopped since I had my program name as my test it is uh, giving unfortunately my test has stopped and if you look at the console you could see uh, various error messages uh, one of the pro uh, pro predominant one would be java dot lang dot runtime exception and uh, it would also say android dot util dot android runtime exception so uh, let me explain how to fix this error we go to window and android virtual device manager and right now we have android version 4.4 .4 and apa level 20 so uh, you can try to uh, reduce the version and APA level to the more stable one with this we could fix that error so I would show you how to do it you can uh, delete the virtual device available and uh, create a new one and choose the device of your choice then target earlier we had APA level 20 4.4 now I'm going to go ahead with 4.4 to APA level 19 and skin with dynamic hardware controls the front cam emulated and uh, back camera is also emulated So we are going to create that virtual device, new virtual device. So sometimes if you don't get uh, AP level 19 4.4.2 in target, you have to down download it. To download it, I will show you how you can download. So after creating this we can uh, try running our application one more time so before that if you don't get that APA level 19 4.4.2 you go to window and Android SDK manager so here you can choose choose the version of your choice uh, 4.4.2 APA 19 so as of uh, November 2014 I'm, I'm I'm considering this as a working version so whenever you get this error message try to reduce your version to the more stable one and uh, try executing the application so you can uh, if you want to download 19 you can choose it and install 14 package install the four packages and it would ask for the license acceptance read the license agreement and uh, click on accept license and install uh, depending on your internet connection it is going to take uh, some time to download and install the packages so once you install it and uh, created the virtual device using that uh, more stable version as a target you can try try running the application
it's going to take some time for uh, loading the Android uh, operating system and then uh, loading our application my test. For this demonstration, I have created a very simple application, MyTest, which is going to display a hello world. So, okay, it, it, it has loaded automatically. So, MyTest is the application which is going to display hello world. So the issue which we were uh, getting is fixed now and now we were able to run the application. Thank you for watching. Do share your comments.